Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Shahista. In today's video, I'm going to cover the most commonly asked question about Canada work permit. So I have an immigration expert with me, Junaid, who will be answering our questions. So welcome Junaid. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to come and discuss about Canadian immigration rules and regulations with you. Thank you so much. So without wasting our time, let's get started. So what are the different types of work permit and how to get them? Okay, so when you're talking about Canada, you know, Canada is a land of opportunities, especially for new immigrants and particularly from third world countries, because a lot of people from third world would like to come to Canada and make it their home. I personally believe that there are two types of work permits that people are, you know, mostly looking for. And uh, the most popular one is employer specific work permit, which a lot of time people say LMIA based work permit and there are there is one more subcategory to that that is LMIA exempt work permit but it is in sponsorship. Mm -hmm. The other types of work permits are uh, open work permit which allows you to work for any employer irrespective of your duration in Canada whereas in closed work permit or employer specific work permits you are allowed to work for that particular employer only. So. In short, there are two types of work permits, open and closed. Close. Yeah. So open work permit gives you a freedom to choose the employer that you want to work with, while closed work permit is specific to one company. Yes. So is there any way to convert closed work permit to open work permit? Um, unfortunately, not. And yes, as well. So it depends on situation. So, for example, if somebody is in Canada on a closed work permit, you know, a lot of people from subcontinent, they come to Canada. Um, to work for companies such as Wipro, Infosys, KPMG and PwC and all these kind of companies. So they come on closed work permit. So until the duration of their work permit or until they are working with that particular company, mm -hmm. they are not allowed to switch their employer. But during that work permit or maybe after the expiry of that work permit, they can switch their status to student and eventually after that, they can switch back to open work permit because if you are in Canada as a student, then you are allowed to work in Canada. You're allowed to obtain a an open work permit called postgraduate work permit. That is the first option. Um, the second option is if you have submitted your PR application. So while you're waiting for that PR, mm -hmm. so you may be eligible to apply for something called bridge open work permit or bridge work permit. So this bridge work permit in some circumstances will allow you to apply for open work permit or this. Let me rephrase. So this bridge work permit in some situations mm -hmm. may give you an opportunity to work for other employers as well. Okay. The other category could be um, if you have applied for PNP, provincial nominee programs, because they, they are the most popular one, right? Yeah. So if you have applied for PNP, then you have the liberty to request that particular province mm -hmm. to allow you to work for any other employer or at least to uh, you may request that employ that province mm -hmm. to um, allow you to get an open work permit. It is very much possible. We have seen these kind of situ situations and cases in our um, practice. Okay. And what are the conditions to apply for open bridge work permit, you said? So technically, you, are just, uh, you can just apply for bridge work permit. Mm -hmm. So bridge work permit means that while you're waiting for your PR or a decision on your PR, mm -hmm. and if your work permit, your existing work permit is expiring or expired or going to get expired, yeah. then to cover this period, you can apply for a work permit. That work permit is called bridge work permit. Okay. In some circumstances or in a lot of circumstances, mm -hmm. this bridge work permit may allow you to work for any employer. So this duration of few months will be um, equal to an open work permit duration. And for that, like my expiring work permit could be anything like it could be open work yes. permit or closed work permit. Yes, right? it can be anything. And uh, not just that, you know, because of COVID, Government of Canada has been introducing uh, different kinds of work permit every now and then. Mm -hmm. Um, so in um, yesterday, they introduced something they introduced a work permit in which they allowed everyone mm -hmm. to um, obtain a, uh, obtain an open work permit. Okay. So these kind of situations may allow, may come if you're on closed work permit, you're going to have to um, stay on closed work permit until you receive your PR. So the most important thing is to work towards getting your PR. Yeah. <laughs> right. So if you're on open work, if you're on closed work permit, stay on closed work permit. But in some circumstances, under humanitarian and compassionate grounds, 
you can request the government of Canada to get you an open work permit. Okay, perfect. Um, so let's say that I came here on a, I came here for education. I got my one year or two years work permit or three years work permit mm -hmm. for that matter, open work permit. And now that work permit is going to expire. So what are the different ways I can extend my work permit here in Canada? Mm -hmm. You mean the postgraduate work permit? Yeah. Okay, so this is a very common problem that a lot of people are facing these days. Yeah. So, uh, you know, a lot of people, they come on student visa and after that they open one, one year or three years work permit. So how this thing works is that if you have studied in Canada for one year, you're eligible to get one year work permit. Mm -hmm. If you study in Canada for two years, then you are eligible to get the work permit of up to three years. Three years. So two years does not really mean that you have to do a two years program. Mm -hmm. You can do one year, two programs of one year each. Yeah. That can also work, right? So, so the most uh, important thing here is that you have three years, if you have, mm -hmm. so you have three years mm -hmm. and you must do everything possible to obtain your PR within these three years. Otherwise, life is going to be very difficult because after this, you are left with just one option, two options. So first of all, if you have op applied or if you have obtained a postgraduate work permit, so you cannot get it again. Mm -hmm. It is just one time thing. Oh, once right? in a lifetime. Yeah, once in a lifetime thing. If you have drained out your work permit, yeah. the postgraduate work permit, then you are left with just two options. Option number one is provincial nominee program. Mm. So um, pretty much all the provinces in Canada, they have something P PNP, mm -hmm. which allows in many situations, it allows candidates to apply for PNP, which also um, eventually can get, you know, um, helps them get PR. So if you can obtain a PNP, Provincial Nominee Program, then you may extend your work permit until you receive your PR. Because there are two different types of PNPs. One is called um, Express Entry PNP and second one is called Non-Express Entry PNP. So for Express Entry PNP, it is still fine because you can get PR in like six months or so. Mm -hmm. But if you get stuck in Non-Express Entry PNP, yeah. then after the approval of PNP, it can take up to two years for yeah. you to get PR. So Until those two years, I can stay in Canada or you, I have to go back to my country? You have to maintain your status. Okay. So until you are waiting for the decision or, or an outcome on your PR application, it is your responsibility to maintain your status. Government of Canada is not responsible for this. So do whatever it takes, but make sure that you do not overstay in Canada. Oh, so you mean maintain your status? Maintain means your if status. Your work permit is going to expire, then you have you to, have to find a way to extend your work permit. Okay. So in this situation, you can ask government of Ontario, for example, if you have obtained the uh, pro, uh, PNP of Ontario, yeah. so you have to ask government of Ontario mm -hmm. to give you a certificate or a letter yeah. to apply for a work permit extension. Yeah. At this stage, mm -hmm. you may ask them or at least try and request them to give you an open work permit letter. Yeah. which can help you to you know extend your work permit as an open work permit anyway because we are talking about student visa work permit or post graduation work permit mm -hmm. so this is an open work permit so in um anyways you're going to get the open work permit extended yeah and i think pnp is some topic which can be covered in another session as well so there are so many topics that we can cover under pnp so if you guys are interested do let me know in the comment section below and we'll definitely make a different video on that okay. next question is like in order to apply for work permit, one should know this, like what are the eligibility criteria for a person who is intending to get work permit, mm -hmm. like age, education, any exam. So as I said, there are two types of work permit, closed work permit and open work permit. So for closed work permit, um, age, IELTS, any of these things are not required. But exam, yes, there may be, you know, the, there may be some sort of requirements for um, some sort of an education in order mm -hmm. to obtain that work permit, but it depends on the company's requirement. It has nothing to do with government of Canada, as long as company is happy. Mm -hmm. So for example, uh, if you are not a dentist in Canada, mm -hmm. no one will hire you as a dentist in Canada. Okay. So you will not get a work permit for that, right? Okay. But if you are a software engineer in, for example, in India, yeah. then any company in Canada can hire you okay. because you do not need a specific Canadian software degree for that. For that, yeah. Right? So as long as you are eligible to work in Canada, yeah. you can apply for the work permit, employ a specific work permit. Okay. 
so it's not compulsory it de completely depends on company to company and profession to profession profession i would say yeah that's there is one more category sorry I'm, i think we missed that